Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for another weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And this will cover us for the week of September 30th through October 6th. And we're going to be using the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. And you may use this reading as a pick a card where you pick card number one, two, or three, or you could use it as a weekly reading where the beginning card is the beginning of the week, the middle card is the middle of the week, and the last card is the weekend. So let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. Oh, we had a jumping card, so this is going to be card number one or the beginning of the week. We have Mawu. And I hope I'm pronouncing these uh, goddess names correctly. And then for the middle of the week, we'll take a card from the center or card number two is Athena, inner wisdom. And this Maui was Mother Earth. And then the end of the week or weekend, we have Mother Mary. Expect a miracle. How beautiful is that? Okay, so the first card is you are called upon to help with environmentalism, Mother Earth. Yes, I think we all are. We can all do our part. Even if you cannot uh, participate in a group uh, setting with something like this, you could do something as simple at your home as recycling, okay? Uh, making sure that you dispose of trash properly. Uh, you can do things to uh, prevent water contamination in your area. I live in an area where there's a lot of lakes and streams, and we have environmental groups that are constantly keeping an eye out for people who may be, you know, polluting the water. I happen to serve on a planning commission in my area where we preserve the natural characteristics of my town. Uh, so if ever there's any kind of construction or building being done, we make sure that they are not disrupting, you know, uh, the buffer areas where there should be trees left for like a forest or disrupting any of the streams or ponds. Whatever it is you can do, okay, to be protective of the environment, okay, if each and every one of us would just simply do one thing, you know, it can mean such a big difference in this world. Um, a lot of people don't realize, you know, like even like unnecessary trash and disposable things that are filling up our landfills, it is just so bad for the environment. Think of ways that you could cut back on that. You know, a lot of people buy the bottled water, you know, where, you know, they're drinking several bottles a day. All of that plastic ends up somewhere. Maybe if you could possibly think of a way around that where you're not purchasing individual bottles of the water and, you know, maybe just having a refillable bottle that you could refill it from home. Um, anything that prevents, you know, polluting the environment. Uh, what a beautiful card, you know, to, to get in the beginning of the week. And then we have Athena, Inner Wisdom, and I love the owl in the background. And the card says, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So something's going to happen in the middle of the week, okay? Or if you chose card number two, something is going to require you to rely on your gut feeling and your intuition, okay? Your inner wisdom. And I say this all the time. Our gut feelings and intuition are an internal warning system that protects us from any potential harm. And when we ignore those gut feelings, okay? Sooner or later, we're going to wish we did. I know myself that I, you know, thought something was ridiculous or silly because I couldn't explain why I felt about it, so I dismissed it. Little did I know that I, you know, could have prevented something harmful from happening, but I just didn't pay attention or take it serious. So something's going to arise possibly for some of you out there where you're going to need to trust your gut feelings, and you don't need to explain why you feel that way. You don't need an explanation and you don't have to logically figure out why you feel that way. Go with your intuition and your gut feelings because they're always spot on. And then at the end of the week, or if you picked card number three, oh, how beautiful, Mother Mary. And the card reads, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Amazing. I may just keep this card out as a reminder because I pray a lot. I pray every day and I sometimes pray at night too. And um, even if you don't feel 
like what you're praying about it is coming about for you, don't forget it's all in divine timing and divine order. It's going to be answered in the order that it needs to be answered. And if it's about someone or something, things have to line up before things could work out. If, say, for example, you're praying for a new job or a job, maybe the position that's meant for your highest good, what's meant for you, that's going to be a wonderful job, has to be vacated first by someone. So that's why, you know, your prayers don't immediately get answered. And what happens is, is people finally give up and say, you know, this is never going to happen. It's not that it's never going to happen. It has to be in divine timing and divine order for your highest good. Okay? Remember, it's not our timing. It's God's timing. And when you pray about something and you release it, it's like a huge brick has been lifted from your chest because there's so many things in this world we have no control over. We can't force things to happen. We can't make things happen. But when you pray about these things, your prayers are being heard. And whoever out there has been praying for a miracle or praying for something to work out, it's coming. Don't give up. So many people give up right before they're about to have a breakthrough. So this is confirming for some of you out there that whatever you've been praying for, whether it be for days, months, weeks, years, your prayers are going to be answered. How beautiful. How beautiful. A beautiful note to end the week. If you've enjoyed this reading, please give it a thumbs up and like it. Share my video and subscribe to my channel because I will be back with more.